Well, one, get out. Don't do anything that's going to keep you from getting out. And that means extreme sports. If two buddies, one cracked his head open, one broke his whole sternum. Okay, that was just a couple days before they went out. Um, that means you're going to have to give up some things you regularly would do. So uh, be smart, get out there, and um, get out there the right way. If there's anything you need to confess before you go out, do it. Absolutely do it. Because I guarantee you'll do it on the mission or after the mission. And uh, it'll just complicate the process. So take care of it now. Don't break yourself now. Don't worry too much about the gear. The gear's fine. They'll end up telling you you can't use your backpack anyways. Go buy the mission backpack. Something like that. What you need to focus on, um, you know, is following your bishop's council, taking advantage of the local programs you have right now. You know, what they're pushing for in your stake as far as missionary preparedness is, you, you need to do it. Do it pretty well. You know, if they ask you to read something, read it twice. You know, Rosetta Stone's great and all, but you know, you'll pick up the language. Don't, don't stress too much about that. What the Lord needs is somebody who's willing to reshape himself and uh, sacrifice everything to you know, follow as leaders. You're going to have leaders you don't like. You're going to have leaders who, uh, who are bad at being leaders. Uh, that was me. I was kind of bad at being a leader. I thought I was good at being a leader, but I realize now I was kind of bad at it. you got to help them be a successful leader. Um, you know, even when they're uh, not good at it, especially when they're not good at it, they need you. The best thing that a leader has going for him are uh, people who will, who will follow him and pray for him. So if you're not praying for your leaders and the people you lead and uh, your war leaders, you just start doing that. You know, pray for your bishop at home while you're on the mission. Pray for your family members one by one. It'll greatly enlarge in your soul and it'll make you more satisfied in your efforts when you when you're frustrated and you can't see the returns that you've uh, you've been promised um you know you can baptize four thousand people you can uh, you can do that so don't let anybody tell you can't goals are important don't knock the numbers numbers are an expression of your work goals are an expression of your desires big goals are not bad so make goals stay busy work hard support your leaders pray for them Pray for your companion. Write letters to other missionaries who are in the mission. Your, uh, your buddies from the MTC, they have a hard time. They have a really hard time and uh, a letter can, can really help. Make sure you eat the acai after you uh, baptize somebody. It's important. It'll give you the strength to endure and persevere. That's a good, good incentive. Yeah, and uh, I think that's about it. That's, that's really all I've got for you.